Once your work is finished, don't watch the television. Once your work is finished, find something constructive to add to your mind. Have an hour for reading. And I don't mean read comic books. Read something that will make you know what's happening. So when you get in a conversation, you can sound intelligent, even if you aren't. Do you hear me when I... <sighs> yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Here we go again. Oh, man. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, my Christmas season starts November 1st, well, October 31st, so it's just been hectic, man. It's just been hectic, you know, but that's the good life, you know, stay busy. <sighs> man, been still trying to work out because last year, around this time is when I, 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 I just fell out of shape and stopped and had to get back in January, so this year not doing it running at 10k in um, april so ran the 5k in november and it was awesome that was my first one it feels different though because when you're running by yourself you don't have all those people around you and you got to slow down and move and <laughs> you know but it was fun I i'm gonna try to do three this year i'm gonna try i'm going to do three i'm gonna do one, I'm gonna do this one, the 5K, I'm gonna do the 10K in April, and I'm gonna do a five mile one Thanksgiving Day, Turkey Day race. So, that's it. Um, Thanksgiving weekend is kinda hard for me, you know, son, because um, I lost my mother, we buried my mother the, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, 2015, so, you know, but, People come and go. I enjoyed it when she was here, and we move on, baby. We soldiers. <laughs> Read this book this week. Been off all week too. That's why I haven't shaved, man. They probably like, man, dude, trying to grow a beard. Like, no, I'm not trying to grow no beard. I'm just, I haven't shaved in a while. <laughs> so you know, I ain't shaved all week since last Thursday. I usually shave like every two days. So. I don't know. I don't see how them dudes walk around with that hair in their face, no beard, man. It just irritates me. I've been wanting to shave so bad. I've been taking three, four showers because <laughs> it's itch all day. So this ain't me. This will be shaved off by Monday morning. Read a book this week. Uh, started last week. You know, one of them. Um, book is called Jazz by Toni Morrison, one of my favorite writers. I mean, I just... I don't know. I'm obsessed with her. I've read up most of her novels, but I did them like in high school and college, and I didn't really like understand, you know, the depth of them. So uh, this year I'm gonna reread. I, I did *Beloved*. I think last year. I don't know if I did a review on it, but this one I had. I read it like maybe in '99. It came out like in '93. So, and you know, reading it as an adult, you know, it man, the depth. <laughs> this lady's like, uh, if you're into basketball, she's like Michael Jordan, you know. If you're into football, she's like Barry Sam does. It's like, she, she's doing it. She's, her um, fundamentals are great, but then she just pulls off something that, you know, I don't know, nerd stuff, I don't know. <laughs> She'll just pull off something, you'll be like, man, you know. I mean, some of the paragraphs I've read three or four times, you know, in jazz. It's about um, it's about a, a a guy and his wife. They came from down south. I forgot the town somewhere, Virginia. They moved to the city, you know, Harlem, New York City. You know, um, the Great Migration. You know, her parents were part of that, so that's a big deal in her in her work. You know, and the guy and his wife. Um, he starts. Going, he starts going with like a little 18 year old girl, 17 year old girl, and you know, she don't want to deal with him no more, so he kills her. And now, <laughs> this guy's wife, the girl, the, the girl that got killed was raised by an aunt that was very, very strict, you know, very from you know, down south, very, very, you know, church going, real strict the way I was raised, you know. And you know, most of the kids they rebel. And she started going with this older guy. This guy was like 40, 50 years old, but they said, you know, he looked great or whatever. And 
So for some reason, he wasn't getting something from his wife that, you know, he needed. Happens. So, but he kills her because she leaves him for, you know, a, a guy that's more her age, you know. And it just goes into, like, their relationship, man. I mean, anybody you really should read this book. You know, this book was written in 93, and it's set in Harlem, 1940s, I think. Or maybe the 30s or the 40s, but the same issues, man. That's why, you know, I said I'm, I'm just going to stay away from, like, you know, I don't know how to call it African-American, black literature, because I want to expand my horizons, and it's like, man, it's the same old stuff, man dysfunctionality and you know I mean racism and, the, and, and, and institutionalized racism and how it affects the daily lives of people I mean it's amazing she does that very well <coughs> I would suggest that everybody every especially every African American should read her if they haven't I mean you know it's kind of a hard read it's not an easy read it's something that you have to sit down and you have to really med meditate. You really have to be quiet and and just get it. But once you do, oh man, you'll be better for the worse, you know. I mean, Tony Morrison this year, uh, that's what I plan on doing. I'm going to go back and read all of them besides Beloved, you know. The Bluest Eye, I read that years ago, but I had no idea what I was reading. <laughs> you know, I only could get the surface. I couldn't get the depth. And, like, in this book, she goes into, like, one of the, the girl that died, they called her Dorcas, and one of her friends, it was her best friend or whatever, and they go into the depth of why this girl was like she was, and why this girl was being friends of her, and when she was shot, she didn't even ask for the police to call, you know, she was like, I'll tell you tomorrow, you know, because she wanted the guy to get away, <laughs> you know. The mother never pressed charges. Um, one of the parts that really stood out to me is where she said they called the ambulance three or four times, but they knew it was a colored person. So, you know, they took their time, you know, which was a big deal. I don't know if that, that, that people don't really complain about that too much now, but I remember, you know, Flavor Flav 911 is a joke. Like, that was a real big thing in a black community, you know at one time, you know, in the 90s, the 80s, and all, it's like, you call the ambulance, and, you know, if they say, if, you, if they knew it was a certain neighborhood, they'll come, but they'll take their time, <laughs> you know, she deals with that, you know, she deals with the color thing, the, the dark skin, light skin thing, I, I think that's more of with females, I don't know, like I said, I, it's just never been, uh, sometimes, with a few light skinned guys overcompensating, but, you know, that's, I think that's more of a big deal with females, you know, with black, you know, females, African-American females. I don't know. Like I said, it's never, I've always been dark head, but it's never, I've had certain people treat me certain ways, but, you know, I'm kind of an a-hole, so <laughs> I don't know if it's just because I'm this or that. It doesn't matter anyway. I don't care. <laughs> so, but yeah, man, jazz, Tony Morrison read it. I mean, really get deep into it. It's an awesome story. It's an awesome thing. You know, I don't agree with everything. Like, you know, it's kind of on the liberal side. It's kind of on the woke side, as they call it now. But, I mean, if you want to be a writer, if you just a, if you just like great works of art, I mean, if you love great writing, you got to give it to the, the woman is a genius, you know. So rest in peace, Toni Morrison. You know, I, I would I would put her like top five. Like I'm, mean, she's up there with Faulkner and Hemingway. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Check y'all later.